I'm Cecily Morris. I'm the chair of the EDPAB board. Uh, I welcome our board members, Andrew Silver and Dennis Trainer, as well as all the uh, EDPAB board and NIPA staff members who join us today for our 745 meeting on July 30th. Um, thank you to the board members for accommodating the request that we have this meeting at this time today. <clears throat> this is a scheduled board meeting which has been duly, duly noticed as required by the open meetings law. And I call this meeting to order pursuant to the EDPAP bylaws, Article 3, Section 2. First matter on our uh, list today is adoption of the proposed agenda of July 30th. First, do uh, board members, Silver or Trainer, have any amendments to the proposed agenda? No. No. I would then accept a motion to approve the agenda so moved second all in favor aye. aye no opposed the motion carries next matter on our list today is adoption of the minutes of the meeting of may 20th 24. i believe that everybody saw the minutes in advance are there any amendments to the minutes no no i would entertain a motion to Approve the minutes of the meeting of May 20th, 2024. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There's no opposition. The motion is carried. Prior to this meeting today, we reviewed the items on the agenda and the members were polled to see if there were any conflicts of interest with regard to that list and there were no reported conflicts. Moving on, we have matters for Recharge New York Power, new extended and modification, modification, modified, excuse me, allocations. So I would ask Mirabel Cruz Brown, Senior Vice President, to introduce our presenter today. Yes, good morning, Chair Morris, members of the board, and all in attendance. As mentioned, my name is Mirabel Cruz Brown. I'm the Senior Vice President of Customer Solutions. Thank you all again for your availability. Um, your attendance at this at these meetings is always very much appreciated. We have one item on today's agenda for recharge New York power allocations, which represents recommendations for 25 distinct recipients. More than half of the recommendations are new entrants into the program, while the balance are for extensions and modifications. I have with me today Elke Pasalipo, who is the manager of the Business Power Allocations and Compliance Group that really handles the bulk of these items. And Javier Brown with me, as you have met many times before. He's the Senior Business Power Allocations and Compliance Analyst. I'm going to ask Gail Brown to please uh, begin the presentation relating to today's item. Thank you. Thanks, Maribel, and good morning, everyone. Today, the board is requested to recommend that the trustees approve contract extensions for seven allocations of Recharge New York Power to existing customers, approve three modifications related to existing Recharge New York allocations, extensions, and or related supplemental commitments, and award new allocations of Recharge New York large business retention, large business expansion, and small business and not-for-profit based power to 15 applicants. All applications were submitted through the state's consolidated funding application system. As in the past, new applications were evaluated on a competitive basis in consideration of the 12 criteria in the Recharge New York legislation. I won't read through each of the 12 criteria, but some of the key ones include job commitments, capital investment, and an applicant's risk of closure or leaving the state if they are not awarded the Recharge New York power allocation. Applications for new RNY power allocations have been considered, where applicable, under NIPA's Green Jobs Evaluation Incentive Plan and the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Evaluation and Incentive Plan. Today's recommendations include one MWBE applicant and nine applicants with facilities located in disadvantaged communities. Today's recommendations consist of the following. Seven extension allocations totaling 1.8 megawatts and supporting more than 580 jobs. Three modifications related to existing recharge New York allocations, extensions, and or related supplemental commitments. Two new large business retention allocations totaling 0.8 megawatts and supporting the retention of more than 170 jobs. 
three new large business expansion allocations, totaling two megawatts, and supporting the creation of more than 40 new jobs, and 13 new small business and not-for-profit based allocations, totaling one megawatt and supporting nearly 1,100 jobs. If today's recommendations are approved, it is anticipated that approximately 36 megawatts of RNY power would remain available to allocate. The awarded applicants will be offered recharge New York contracts for a term of up to seven years. Contract has provisions for the partial or complete withdrawal of an allocation if the recipient fails to maintain mutually agreed upon commitments relating to, among other things, employment, power utilization, and capital investment. In summary, the board is being asked today to recommend that the trustees approve contract extensions for seven allocations of recharge New York power to existing customers, approve three modifications related to existing recharge New York allocations, extensions, and or related supplemental commitments, and award 18 new recharge New York large business retention, large business expansion, and small business and not-for-profit based power allocations. This item is submitted for your approval and I'd be glad to take any of your questions. No questions. Board Member, Chair. Board Member Silver, any questions on any of the existing customers, modifications, extensions, or the new allocations? No. Thank you, Mr. Brown, for that presentation. Anything else? Ms. Cruz Brown, before we go forward. I'd just like to add a quick little highlight on the applicants that we reviewed today. I'd like to call out that nine of the applicants are located in disadvantaged communities, and one happens to be in WBE as well. So we're really happy of the diversity in this portfolio. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Guess next, then we need a motion to approve the recommendations found in the materials. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Motion carries. We've gotten through our agenda fairly quickly. <laughs> our next meeting is currently scheduled for Monday, September 23rd at 9. I'm sure we'll be reaching out in advance if you have any trouble with the dates. Just let the staff know, let me know, and we'll see what we can do. Any additional business to come before the board today? No. I'm going to entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. By the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 No opposition. The motion carries. Great. Thank you.